This lesson is on prepositions of place. The prepositions of place refer to the location of objects, people or places. The most common prepositions of place are at, on and in. The others that we'll look at also in this lesson are by, near, close to, next to, beside, between, behind, in front of, over, above, below and under. We use at for a specific location or event. I will wait for you at the cinema entrance. Paul is sitting at the bar. We met the customers at the head office. Sid's house is at the end of the street. Everyone had a great time at the party yesterday. Steve is studying maths at university. We use on for surfaces or if something is on top of something else. The mug is on the table. Don't sit on the grass if it's wet. Please leave the drinks on the tray. Jack hung a picture on the wall. Don't sit on that chair, it's just been painted. We use in when we're talking about enclosed spaces or even geographical locations. The plates are in the cupboard. There are thousands of books in the library. Most people cook in the kitchen. London is in England. We have a meeting in Toronto next week. In your opinion, what is the best band in the world? We use by, near and close to when the distance between two things is small. And it is worth noting that close to is the only one that uses the word to. You wouldn't have by to or near to. So Peter prefers to sit by the window when flying. Jane likes to sit near the entrance of the cinema. We have Jane likes to sit near to the entrance of the cinema. You wouldn't that the two is is wrong there. We don't need that. The first version, Jane likes to sit near the entrance of the cinema is correct. However, don't stand so close to me. And next to and beside are when two things are adjacent. And beside is slightly more formal than next to. The bus was empty. Why did he have to sit down next to me? Jenny sits beside Mary at school. My uncle is standing next to my sister in the photo. John's house is beside the restaurant. So we use between when one thing is in the middle of two other things. Put a slice of cheese between two slices of bread. Voila! You now have a cheese sandwich. Would you like to sit between Tony and Peter? Donny is an idiot. Nothing between his ears at all. His house is between the Browns and the Bulls. Old joke time. Mr. and Mrs. Brown one side, Mr. and Mrs. Ball the other side, and this is how we say their house is between the Browns and the Bulls. And this is the punchline of the old joke is, and when his house caught fire, he was very happy to be pulled out by the Browns. So we use behind when one thing is 
to the rear or the back of something else. And it's the opposite of in front of. So Paul got behind the wheel of the car and drove away. Peter is standing behind Paula in the queue. Sadie hung her coat behind the door. The car park is behind the supermarket. And then we have in front of, where we mean one thing is situated before another thing. And as we heard, it's the opposite of behind, which we've just seen. The teacher stood in front of the class. Let's not put the cupboard in front of the television. Bad idea. The man in front of Jim looks a bit like Churchill. English people are usually too polite to push in front of you. That's in a queue, of course. And we use over and above when one thing is higher than something else. And these are very similar, but we use over when one thing is in direct contact or when one thing covers another. We'll see the examples. She pulled the blanket over her head so that the blanket was touching her. Hannah held the umbrella over both of us. So in this case, the umbrella isn't actually touching us, but it does cover both of us. I like jelly with cream poured over it. Put the towel over the radiator to dry. So we said on the previous slide, we use over and above when one thing is higher than something else. And although they are very similar in use, we use above when something is higher but not necessarily directly over something else. So we walked along the path above the lake. So the path was higher than the lake, but around it in this case. She hung the picture above her bed. Not much of Holland is above sea level. The pupil raised her hand above her head to ask a question. Now below and under are the opposites of over and above and we use these when something is lower than something else and we use under when one object covers another and underneath is another word for under so the dog is hiding under the bed the boy put the tooth under his pillow I found your earring under the sofa. There is a troll under the bridge. And in all these cases, the thing that is under something else is completely under it. It's covered by it. And then below is again used when something is lower than something else. But it's really just when it's in a lower position, not necessarily covered by it. We can also use beneath as another word for below. But much of Holland is below sea level. Her flat is below mine. The ship is just below the horizon. I saw a big fish below the surface of the water. 